I'm a scientist from the University of Hawaii. I'm a professor there in the Department of Geology and Geophysics. You know, most of the geologic processes take place over such a long period of time in terms of human lives, right? We pretty much are always doing forensic work. It's always looking at what's left behind and trying to infer processes that took place to form them based on a whole lot of little bits and pieces of evidence. It's, it's forensics. It is forensics. It sounds more glamorous if you say it that way, I think. <laughs> I study mostly volcanic rocks, but also igneous rocks. So my main interest here is the chunks of rock that are going to come up in these mud volcanoes, called peridotites, and uh, they represent pieces of the mantle. So this thing here, this is the, 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 the mud that we're going to be looking at, it's the serpentine mud, so it's sort of the ground up mantle rock. It's reacted with water and formed into completely different minerals that are then ground up in the fault. And it comes up in these, these faults that reach the surface. Then there's chunks of rock themselves that are parts of the original uh, mantle. My PhD work back at Woods Hole and MIT was on mantle rocks from the mid-ocean ridges. Instead of drilling in that case, we did all of our work on ships with dredges. So just hanging a big bag, a chain bag off of a cable on the back of a ship and dragging it along the seafloor and collecting whatever comes up. And so we would go to sites where we thought mantle was exposed, usually in fracture zones, big faults that, that cut through the crust. These rocks are also, the reason that they're important, these mantle rocks that I studied was that they form the source for all the basalts that, that are erupted at the mid-ocean ridge. The basalts then come out the faults where the mid-ocean ridges are formed and the plates are pulling apart. And so what's left behind from that melting is the mantle. And you can tell many things about the physical processes that take place to form the mid-ocean ridges and, and the earth that eventually go down the subduction zone here and are melted again and then come up in volcanoes in the arcs and, and these things, which are the kind of the mud slurry that is formed when the, the faulting crushes up the rocks as it's going down and creates this ultramafic kind of mud with chunks off the mantle. So it's a story that started with my PhD looking at the original upwelling rocks at the ridges and then this is the rocks as they are when they go back down and get back introduced into the circulating mantle eventually to make their life cycle complete, I guess. <laughs>